Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics and Investing. Welcome. Uh, let's get started with the third video. Uh, the previous videos I told you that, you know, in life to be successful, all you have to do is make less mistakes than everybody else. In the second video, I told you to avoid the five mistakes, right? No gambling, uh, no drugs, no alcohol, no uh, guessing with definites, and don't womanize, all right? And I explain how that relates to markets as well. In this video, I want to talk about the three important things that you really need to focus on. First one is you have to educate and be productive, right? Educate yourself, become productive. Good. Second thing, be really careful with relationships, all right? You pick the wrong person, you're going to end up somewhere where you don't want to be. No matter how much money you make, all right, you're going to end up losing half and then, and then some, all right? Uh, the third thing is you have to understand money. I don't give a shit how much money you make. I don't care how successful you are. You know, this is what my grandfather said. You know, he goes, no matter how smart you think you are, how much money you have at the moment, if you don't understand money, you're going to lose it. You will lose it. And he was 100% right. Okay? So you have to spend an equal amount of time trying to balance these three very important aspects of life okay now there's a lot of garbage out there that I see on social media garbage galore uh, um, you know from women haters to men haters to uh, you know start your own business start learning how to trade cryptos you'll become a millionaire just like I did you know here's my Lambo uh, money, oh, don't worry about money, you can, you know, we can just deficit spend and just ask more from the government and we'll become rich and got, you know, the, the, the amount of fucking nonsense that I've heard is just unbelievable, all right? So, you really need to deeply understand all three things, okay? All right, so let's talk about money. Money, if you understand money, you're going to definitely understand value. That's why it's so important to understand. Now, you know, money, currency, whatever, it's just a medium of exchange, right? That's all it is. However, if you don't understand how it operates, how to invest it properly, how to, um, you know, allocate risk and so forth, and, and you really don't understand value, then you can do all the other things, right? So you got to understand value. And the way you understand value is to understand money, all right? Very important. Now, uh, in a relationship, if you're spending your time trying to be productive, working your ass off, and worrying about money, and you don't pay attention to your relationship, well, you're creating your own problems because you're going to end up divorced, right? Um, if you bet the farm on one job uh, the rest of your life, uh, and, and you're not having a plan B or a second option or you know, um, constantly improving yourself, uh, again, <laughs> the other two are going to go away anyway right they're not gonna matter so these are really intertwined these three things are intertwined they're, they're the same thing what happens is most people don't understand money that's 90 plus percent don't understand money therefore they don't understand value okay um, and I've seen this I've seen it in my uncles you know they came to America they worked hard they started businesses and became very uh, successful got high on their own supply, thinking that they were invincible and they were telling everybody how smart they are, went out, bet the farm, and lost it all. I'm, I'm not kidding. All. <laughs> Wiped out. Okay? Um, very important to, <laughs> to be humble. All right? Now, again, these, what I'm telling you is nothing uh, spectacular, right? Everybody kind of knows it. They kind of understand it. However, the execution and the education is just garbage out there. Hi, subscribe to me. I'll be a wing, wing girl. I'll teach you how to pick up chicks. <laughs> you know? Or I'm your wingman. You know, look at me. I am studly. And it's like, <laughs> like oh, my God. Uh, you know, trade crypto. You know, you'll become rich. You know, hey, you know, get GameStop. You know, this is how you do it with the RSI this and... You know, with the MAC deal, you know, with the crossing and moving averages and, you know, uh, become your own business owner and do this and da-da-da-da. And it's like, oh, man, 
young kids, you know, young adults today, they're they're fucked basically. Um, you know, if they and, and and whether you like it or not, you're gonna see it. You will be influenced by it. When you're young, you don't know any better. I can't tell you how many times I heard someone say, "Oh yeah, I use the RSI. You know, it's overbought." And it's, you know, this is oversold. I'm going to buy this. And, and to them, and every, every fucking year, there's some new guy that's coming into trading. And they'll talk about the RSI or the MACD or whatever, the candlestick. And look at this, you know, topping pattern. And it's a wick. And it's, you know, and to them, it's like this whole new thing th that they're discovering. Meanwhile, old guys like me, who've been trading for 20 plus years, they're sitting there like, ah, oh, jeez. You know, how do you explain to this kid <laughs> what he thinks he just magically found and is reading up on and buying all these books is garbage, utter garbage. Like, you know, dude, you'll never fucking make money. How many guys have come to my channel uh, and, and said, you know, I, I made a million dollars, you know, whatever, trading crypto, and then they lost it all. And then, you know, again, if you don't understand money, you're not going uh to be successful in life right same thing even with with a job or wh whatever you got to be successful three times in your life three fucking times you got to be successful in order to make it to the end uh well off okay um i, I keep saying this to young i see so many young pilots that come in and they're so excited and you know da, 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 and making dreams and i'm going to do this i'm going to do that and I'm like, fuck, this guy does, is, he's not even aware that in 20 years, there may only be one pilot in the cockpit. Whatever, you know, he'll be 40. He's 20 years old now, 21, whatever. You know, he'll, he'll be 40, 45 years old out on the street. I mean, what's he going to do at 45? He spent his whole life flying. Now what is he going to do? Go be a banker? Right? So... You got to be successful three times in your life. All right. Remember that. Uh, pick it up, chicks. And, you know, if you touch her hand, oh, that's going to sexually arouse her. And, you know, you have to say these three words. And, and it's like, what the fuck? And, oh, she's a narcissist. He's a narcissist. Oh, this is how you handle narcissism. And did it. I think like what 5% of the population are, are, diagnosed as narcissist or something like that and and you would think fucking you know everybody's dating a fucking narcissist um go no contact <laughs> like, what the fuck now again i want to i want to go back to the being productive part okay um i don't want you to think that you have to go out and go get some huge high paying job and blah 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 and become you know whatever uh i'll, I'll tell you a story there was one guy that sold hot dogs from our friends. Uh, some guys were became lawyers, others became doctors, I became a pilot, you know, everybody went off in their own ways. Do you know who is the most successful from all of us? The hot dog guy. <laughs> he had a hot dog stand. Uh, but he worked his ass off, okay? I think he's got like 30 hot dog stands, whatever, throughout New York. I don't know how many apartment buildings he owns. Um, the guy has long been retired. Um, and he, he had the, uh, you know, the hedgehog approach, I guess you would call it, where he just did one thing, but did it very well. Okay. Uh, was disciplined. He was careful with his money. Uh, he didn't overstep his bounds. Okay. And he, uh, he became the most successful. It's kind of, I, I think of it like uh, Southwest. Southwest went to 50 destinations, you know, they grew slowly, they went to offbeat airports, uh, they just did one thing, they did it um, very well, they didn't go against the competition, and that's why they went to smaller airports or whatever, and today, uh, Southwest has the most amount of, of, of cash uh, out of any airline, probably in the world, okay, so you don't have to become some <laughs> extraordinary, you know, uh, uh, money making machine, you know, invent some shit or whatever. Okay, you can do it with a simple job. Okay, just be good at it. Now, 
let me be clear. I'm not saying that, you know, becoming a doctor or a lawyer or whatever uh, is not a good thing. It, it doesn't matter. What, what I'm trying to tell you is you don't have to be something great, okay? Um, as long as you know your limits, as long as you understand um, that what you, whatever it is that you choose to do, just make sure that you're good at it um, and that you respect money and you understand money, at, at least to the extent where um, you're not spending more <laughs> than you're making, right? Because because that's another little tricky thing. That's another tricky thing. And let, let me let me share this story with you. When I first became a pilot, I had to pay ten thousand dollars to go through training, and that's if I passed. Not just me, everybody. Back in the '90s, it was very difficult for pilots. Um, and then you only got paid like thirteen dollars and sixty-two cents. Literally, pilots were in you know food lines. Okay. Um, because nobody was retiring, all these guys came in from Vietnam. There was a, a period of 20 years where they just airlines would not hire pilots. It was just too many of them. All right. Um, so it, it was really bad. Now I was like, oh, I can't wait to become captain. You know, I'm, I'm going to make $28 an hour. I'm going to be rich. Well, guess what? Became a captain, went to $28 an hour. Uh, and you know what happened? A little bit better car, a little bit better house, a little bit better furniture, a little bit better uh, vacation, gone. <laughs> Money's gone. Well, I'll become a jet captain. So I became a jet captain. Oh, oh, I'm making, you know, $60 an hour. Woo, I'm going to be rich. But guess what? A little bit better car, a little bit better furniture, a little bit better house, a little bit better vacation, gone. Uh, and then I'd be like, oh, you know, I'm going to go to a bigger jet. Oh, I'm going to make, you know, $100 an hour. Woo, I'm going to be rich. Uh, guess what? A little bit better car, a little bit better house, a little bit better vacation, a little bit better furniture, gone. Right? And that's that's what happens in life. You don't realize it. When you're young, you don't get it. You're like, eh, I got time. I got time. You know? Uh, until one day you wake up and you're like, this shit ain't working out the way I thought it would. <laughs> right? Something is wrong. I don't know what the fuck it is, but something is terribly fucking wrong here. And I got to fix it. Uh, and that's if you're smart, <laughs> you'll be like, mm, I don't have that much savings there. You know what I mean? So anyway, my problem was that I didn't understand money. It's that simple. My relationship was good. My job was good. Didn't understand money. Right. And that's how I, uh, you know, started with investing and, you know, let's understand money. Let's go out and understand money. And that's how it all began. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, the hot dog guy is sitting there expanding his little fleet of hot dog carts and, um, you know, just took his money, went out, bought real estate with it, it bought some stocks, you know, nothing, not, not that he became some stock picker or something, he just bought the S&P 500, some, you know, mutual fund, I don't know what the hell he did. Um, he diversified, he understood that, right, he understood risk. Um, and uh, again, over the course of time, you do things right, you don't get divorced, <laughs> uh, you're gonna end up really, really good. You're gonna, you're gonna end up more than good. Now, this is a little bit tricky. Why? Because I'm not telling you to save sex for old age, <laughs> if that makes sense. What, what do I mean by that? I'm not telling you not to enjoy your youth, right? You gotta, you gotta enjoy your youth. You gotta go out and travel. You gotta, you know, go out to the bars. You know, entertain women or guys, <laughs> well, in our case, it's, it's the men entertain women, right? You spend a little bit of money, get some nice clothes that, you know, but within reason, not to the point where you, you're not going to be saving is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. You got to be careful. Uh, cause, cause you don't want to work your ass off, you know, <laughs> sit home all day, be an introvert. Don't go out. And you know, one day you fucking wake up and you're like, shit, you know, I'm 40 something years old. And I haven't lived life, right? So anyway, you get my point what I'm trying to say here. All right, good. So yeah, the guy diversified. He, he had uh, good risk management. You know, he didn't overextend himself. He didn't suddenly become, oh, I'm going to become a stock picker. I'm going to go out and buy some crypto. I'm going to become rich. Fuck the hot dogs. You see what I'm saying? He was disciplined. He understood, he understood his circle of competency. Always understand your circle of competency. And always try to expand that circle of competency, right? And that, that's that's very important. That's understanding money. Um, 
And uh, again, he didn't get divorced. Everything went great. And he's very proud of him. Okay. So don't think you have to do something extraordinary. It's not what I'm saying. Right. Now, what I didn't tell you is about the other five guys. <laughs> the other five guys were the ideas guys. They always had fucking ideas. They're always, you know, as soon as they come up with one idea and they would say it, guess what? They're off to the next fucking idea. And then the next fucking idea. And these guys ended up being nothing. Okay. Uh, they ended up in a very bad place. So stay away from those guys. You don't, you don't, <laughs> you, you don't want to become those guys. So anyway, we'll, we'll end the video here. Uh, again, okay, try, try to learn this as early as possible in your life. Number one, <laughs> number one, be productive, okay? Be the best you possibly can be in whatever it is you choose to do. Number two, be very selective, uh, educate yourself on relationships, okay? Um, don't get married too early, Right, 50% of divorce uh, of marriages end in divorce, and I saw a statistic. I think in Portugal it was like 90%, Spain was like 87%, and somewhere else it was like I don't know 70%. So be careful. <laughs> uh, and, and number three, really have to understand money, and that does not mean that oh I'm a real estate guy, oh I'm a stock picking guy, oh I'm a this, I'm a take it easy. You can just buy the S&P 500, buy, hold, <laughs> let it go. You're, you know, you, you're doing the right thing. Diversify with some real estate, buy some bonds, okay? You don't have to get fucking extravagant and crazy about it, okay? Um, but again, it's going to help you if you understand the macroeconomics. However, let me, let me be clear with this, you know... Uh, Economists are not necessarily rich, right? Most of them are not. <laughs> uh, so you don't really want to pay attention too much to them. Uh, guys that are, um, you know, picking stocks and, no, oh, you know, this is my trade and this is how you day trade and you quit your job. And, right, none of those guys are in the top, you know, 10 of wealthiest men alive. Um, you know, be sensible. Uh don't listen to people, you know, I'll be your wingman, you know, your wing girl, and I'll teach you how to pick up chicks, and, and yeah, okay, thanks a lot, you can, we, we don't need those kind of men and women uh, in our life, they're high value, yeah, if they're so fucking high value, why are they so available, right, <laughs> uh, it's okay, thank you, um, so that's it for this video, uh, I hope it helps, I hope, you know, you listen to it, and you think about it, and you got to spend equal amount of time on all three things, right? You, you, you do too much of one, and then the other one suffers, you're going to end up somewhere where you don't need to be. So that's it. Thank you very much, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.